What was it called again? It begins with a P. P, -p, 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 -p. Piraeus. Hmm, that is one huge map. Build a port in Piraeus. The game thinks it's quite hard. It certainly has some pretty hefty win conditions there, and I think it said 10,000 people. It also warns us that the city is besieged, so... Well, we can expect some fair military uh, aspects here. So I'm going to play around with this until Baron's ready for his Xenonauts. Just when you play a really... Uh, I don't want to say the game was awful, but it certainly wasn't any good. When you, play some, when you play something that's really deflating like that, it feels good to just uh, slide into a game that you know is great. Right, what do we even have to work with? We don't know anything about this map, so we're going to have to figure it out on the fly here. All access to water, all access to medical, no oracles. Hmm, unusual and challenging. Oracles are just a nice way to not have to spam temples everywhere, because large temples are expensive in various ways, especially marble. Uh, but hey, oracles are also seen as a crutch by people who are very correct. All education, all entertainment, all civil buildings, all maintenance building, wharfs. Fishing is an option here, which usually means that food won't be a problem. Usually. Military academy, barracks, all forts. Now this is interesting. There is no farming for food. Despite the huge amounts of farmland here, there's no food. Just olives and vines, which people don't eat. They press olives into oil and make wine out of vines. Uh, it says no pop requirement, but the pop requirement is meant to be 10,000. That's what it said on the Caesar 3 page, and I'm going to double check that. Yeah, I guess I didn't code it in rightly or something, but population goal is 10,000. I usually stay away from population goals that are that high, because it becomes a slog after about 7k or so, but it's a big map. Should be able to handle it. However, that food issue is a real issue. If the only way you can get food is through fishing, and there don't appear to be amazing fishing locations, then it's going to be very hard to centralize feeding people. Lots of rocks in the way of what would otherwise be good feeding opportunities. Hmm. Looks like a pretty map. It does. This map looks great. It's bigger than I like my maps. Too much usable space. I have a very different playstyle from, say, Marek, who doesn't mind just thumping down um, different blocks all over the place, but that doesn't fulfill me as a city builder. I like things like a toll for taxes. Even uh, even the Greek one was great, because although the map was huge, a lot of it wasn't usable. Recht, where are we and what can we do? Funnily enough, we are in Athens, just as the map suggested. We can sell off vegetables and wine, but it's expensive to open that trade route, and our starting denarii is actually very high. Am I really playing on... Yeah, okay, wow. It's been a long time since I've had so much starting denarii. This shouldn't be too challenging. Um, Pergamum, we'll buy weapons. Everything is a naval sea route, which can be good or bad. Better capacities, but awkward for getting trade set up in. Um, okay. Looks like selling... Oh, right, what do I even have access to locally? Marble, weapons, furniture, no pottery, which can be a bit of a problem, especially with my playstyle. I love to go for me uh, small insulae as fast as I can. If I don't have local clay, that becomes a problem. Mm -hmm. Importing food, we can import wheat, lots of wheat even, and fruit and veg. Don't be fooled though, these, uh, these quotas of food are actually quite small. So the amount of wheat we can actually bring in is 40, 50, 65 I believe. 65 units of wheat per year. One person eats... Oh god, now I've forgotten my numbers, haven't I? That's okay, I have a cheat sheet available. Uh, where's my cheat sheet for production and consumption? Okay, so every person eats 0 0.005 cartloads of food per month. So that's not 0 0.06 cartloads a year. And we can get 65. So that's wheat to feed about a thousand people out of 10,000. It's not great. So yeah, food imports are going to feed about 15% of our people tops. I think we're going to have to have some uh, awful plebes in 
tents because I can't afford to feed everybody. Well, I don't have the wherewithal to feed everybody. Yeah. Hello, Jake. It's been a hot minute since I've managed to catch a stream. How are you guys doing? <laughs> we played a game that kind of sucked, so we come crawling back to Caesar. That's the long and short of it. The game did the uh, preview did say the map is besieged. We don't know where from, and a lot of the areas at the side are very open. So I have no clue where. I mean, I could be attacked from any of these places here, all along here, all along here. If you load this game up in the um, the city editor view, you can actually see the invasion points. But of course, that cheating. Not quite cheating, but it certainly wouldn't be very proper for a good governor. I also don't know where the trade ships come in from. Again, could be anywhere that's the edge of the water tiles. Knowing where they come in from is a great advantage. So I'm going to assume they're going to come in from somewhere around here and just start up a bit of a colony, because I know this area is safe from invasion, and it'll give me a quick idea of where the things are coming from. Also, easy access to all the goods that I can sell. So, when you don't know what to do, just get building. Hell, it's Caesar 3, it's not the world's hardest game. And I think the economy is going to be a little easy on this mission. One can hope. Marble and weapons can be sold to Miletus very quickly, and with that we can uh, grow from there. Fishing spot is there, but this doesn't make for a very good fishing area now, does it? One, and two, and three, and four. Actually, not too shabby. Nay, too shabby at all. But it can be repurposed later on if we end up moving where our production is done. How are you going to get across the river? Oh, good point. Where's the entry point? Immigrants arrive from here, so actually it's usually better to um, set up your initial area where the immigrants come in from. It's much faster at getting... Uh, it's a much faster way to get immigrants in. Hmm, I'm going to hope that this is also where the uh, trade ships come in from. There's still good access to just about everything that I could want to sell here. I think... One, two, three... I think we're going to do it here, and I'm going to pray that the trade ships come from there. If they don't, I'm going to change my trading area soon. I bet the schedule still says Aquatico. Well, too bad. Aquatico was immensely disappointing. Let's have this come up like so. I will want to be selling furniture at some point. One... okay, only one... Um, one woodcutter's worth. And marble quarry. Um, I'm trying to remember that. Four, I think that's only two marble quarries worth of exports there, maybe three. 4.8 pair. I think it is three actually. Plus I want marble anyway. So. So, 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 so. And since we are besieged, I'm going to want a whole lot of weapons industry set up just to keep ourselves safe. I'm not used to having so much uh, money to throw around at the very start. Probably going to find it a little liberating, if anything. How many weapons are we going to be selling eventually? Uh, lots. Lots and lots. Well, if you insist, game. Heck, I didn't make a map. One, two, out you come. Go and rub shoulders with them, be able to do some industry here, and make your way back. Monkey Dory. And of course we'll need access to labour around here. It's no big deal, I'm just going to shove down some of you there, some of you there. Because I see that that's a merger point, I can tell just by looking at it. Away you go, and they're going to fill in and I'm just going to make a labour lump around here. And this is just going to be purely uh, industrial zone. So quite similar to how I usually start my maps, but we can get it going at a larger uh, larger degree from the get-go, which is good for me. One, two, one, two. I don't even want to water these people. I'm not, I'm not well known for watering my plebs. 
I don't deserve it. So hopefully some initial migrants come in from there. We'll tell them they're not getting taxed. What was wrong with Aquatica? It was just a dead game. Felt completely directionless. Didn't feel like there was any purpose to anything I was doing. This time, for once, I will not forget to water my ple uh, not water, doctor my plebs. Game's probably yelling at me that oh wait, what would it be yelling at me? Employees needed. That's fine though. We expect employees to be needed at the very start. And I don't mind the lack of mergers early on either. It's no big deal. Lots of prefectures are good though, because things love to burst into flames. And people also love it when we patronize the gods. Yeah, all this money, I can practically throw this away. Our starting rank is Procurator, which is way too huge. We're going to set ourselves down to Architect. That'll keep Caesar quite a bit happier. If you drop your uh, your personal payment below what is expected, your favor with Caesar will drop at half its regular speed. Resi 2 might be contender for Peak Jake. What do you mean by that, young scruff? I do like Resident Evil 2. Hopefully we mean the original here. Contrary to what I used to believe in Frostbuck Day, Caesar 3 is PG. I do love my Caesar 3. Such a good game. Right. Once I see uh, carts sitting out here, I'll know they're done with that. And I don't have unemployment yet, so there's no point slamming down lots of additional houses. Even so, I'm going to slam down lots of additional houses, because more people is more power. There's malnutrition everywhere, yet no food to treat it. Yeah, no food is going to be a common theme, my friends. Yeah, very few people work in this quarry. Marble production is very slow as a result. Most buildings actually have a bit of spiel about their low number of people, but you don't see it often in my cities, because I like to go for massive amounts of over, uh, rather, unemployment. I just think it's better, and I'm right. Right, let's get those weapons cranked out. I have a funny feeling I'm going to be desiring them for my own military as well as export. As I said, the game told me the city is besieged, so let's not take it for granted. You're going to take weapons and marble for now. Later on I will have a bit of... Um, what's it called? Discrimination between what goes into warehouses. Good rule of thumb is just have one product per warehouse. It keeps a lot of things very simple. Are we even Zenos later? That we are, McCain. And this is like the third time you've asked that today. It's even on the schedule. Oh, bollocks. Neptune gave me his blessing. Right, well, very quickly, folks. I want those weapons. I really want those weapons. The sooner we have those weapons, the sooner we can sell those weapons. It's not even a bad thing having excessive amounts of iron, but uh, I'm really hoping that this is the entry. Actually, we can usually tell by the flotsam. Anybody see any flotsam on the water? Now, flotsam was not a word I understood for a long time. But thanks to Caesar 3, I at least understood. Well, well, actually, it's possible that flotsam is turned off, so you don't get to know where they... Um, where the traders are coming from. I just noticed that I haven't even linked this marble quarry up. Big mistake on my part. Well, not a huge mistake, but uh, an unpleasant one. I'm actually going to get rid of you, and you, and this road's getting moved. Otherwise this marble quarry is going to burst into flames. And the workshop for weapons gets migrated over just a wee touch move this over so I've got another 2x2 two two to work with. And that's a merger spot, so I can rebuild the populace there. Right. Miletus, come to me. We're going to be selling our weapons and selling our marbles. And I'm hoping they spawn here, but they haven't spawned already, so that's a bad sign. If they're so far away, 
then they're never going to get to me in time, are they? Looking for a trade ship. Oh, bollocks, they spawn over here. <laughs> That's horrible. Uh, okay, then later on I'm going to rebuild my trade stuff over there. Hopefully at least they exit the map from there. But at least once they do come over, if they get here this year, I'll be able to sell them loads of uh, marble and weapons at vastly increased prices. Can you get attacked from the other side of the river if there's no bridge? Yes, you can. They won't be able to cross. They're just going to sit there forever. But that's bad, because any time you're under attack, you do not get immigrants entering your city. I've got a, mm, outrageous amounts of unemployment right now, which is usually good. Hey, they've I made can't it. I wait to do some trading here. I love a good deal. Yeah, I love a good deal too. Uh, Pergamum, I want you to come in and buy more weapons. And I'd like to open up another one, but I'll wait till I have a bit more dosh. This is going to be a very lucrative trade opportunity. They're going to buy up all these goods at double price, because Neptune's got my back. Look at that. Fat loads of dosh. Caesar's going to be happy with me. And this guy brings in more weapons right in time. Another successful voyage. The profit from this place makes the seasickness bearable. <laughs> Sadly, the other ships won't arrive in time to get the double money, but that's great, uh, great startup funds. We can use it to expand other uh, lucrative industries. They buy timber, sure enough, but they also buy... Hmm, tell you what, I'll have a warehouse here. This warehouse will take furniture and timber. And I'll slightly underproduce uh, probably both of them, just so that I sell plenty of both. Timber, timber, and a bit more timber. And two are on furniture. One, two. And let's not drag our feet on this one. Barracks. No attacks coming in just yet, but we'll have a barracks and we're going to start having some defences. Now, given the map is so huge, it's very difficult to know where to put your defences. I swear I put Oster from my wish list waiting for it to come out of early access, double danger dad, but if it's in early access, the question's moot anyway. I don't pay attention to those. I wait until full release. Right. Hmm. If the ships spawn here, this is a great place for trading, but it's isolated. I'm just trying to think where my city is actually going to be. Because it's so spread out in terms of food access, it's a difficult question. There's terrible, terrible access to food. There's four... Think one, two, three, four, five. It's not an unreasonable amount of fishing that you can do here, but it's still not going to feed a lot of people. Jeez, challenging map design. I definitely should have my industry moved down here. That's just much better for it, but uh, I won't hamstring myself with that just yet. Other goods that I could sell, I swear there was wine involved, right? Yeah, they'll actually buy decent wine. Maximize exports. It's, uh... It would be my big advice for anybody starting playing this game. Get all your exports, maximize them, sell them. Probably not going to do fish, though. <laughs> I'm not even going to follow my own advice. There we go. And while we're at it, you can accept wine because this is underproducing wine based on um, based on exports. I'd maximize it, but there's no driving need for me to do so right now. Still, with this kind of dosh, I can easily set up a proper uh, city elsewhere. It's just defense is a big question. I might need a properly well uh, walled in city. I might even have a super slum city. Oh, hang on, I just noticed this island. Sure, it can be attacked from the north here, but it could be well defended in the south. You could wall it off here, get the fishing done, have... Oh, the building opportunity here is dire. You know, I like this map, despite my various complaints about it. It's, um... This is how a challenge should be for a city builder. I'm trying to build a city. I'm not trying to play an RTS here. I want to be challenged on city design. 
Needs more rocks. No, it's got plenty of rocks. Marek's had his touch here and there, so I would call him Marok. I think where I could put a ship bridge that doesn't get in the way of great fishing opportunities. Usually best where a single tile can hit another single tile. That's not good, though. Mm, one, two, one, two. This is the best place for it, then. I'm going to put it there just so I know. So what I'm thinking is there's a lot of food production around here. Shoved into a main granary here. Oh, yeah. Maybe it goes the other way around. Maybe the main granary is here. And uh, the people live here. And then I wall it off along here and along here from these possible invasion points. And then along here is where the god-awful plebs live. They could have their own... Ah, I don't want them built along next to the wall here, though. But there's still a lot of fishing opportunities here. Wharf, 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 wharf. Set phasers to kill wharf. Hmm, interesting. I don't think I've ever streamed a slum build of a city. We could call it San Francisco. Alright, well... I guess that's what I'm going to do. But that means fast-tracking patricians, which is very unusual for me. Still, this initial income seems to be doing us just fine. Actually, maybe not fine enough, I think, the way this is going. What I actually need are two docks, since everything is done by sea like this. So get ourselves another winery over here, and then they'll split up and go to their separate uh, docks. Maybe even three in after a while. For now, though, this will do us just fine. I can't wait to do some trade here. I love a good deal. Poor access to employees is a little concerning, so I'm going to improve that a little. And I never did build that fort. I need that fort. If I'm going to assume that the food comes here and there's a huge area for patricians here, then the fortifications are going to want to be beyond the wall. So, I guess, here for starters, and later on, more here. At least that's a start, right? They can react to here and here. Not so much here. If I get attacked from here, I'm just boned. At least the... Um, at least the javelin thrower people are pretty swift to move around. I knew it might merge your senses were tingling there. This is the original content I was looking for. Actually, Lucky, you're not on this map. The uh, the donkeys will not appear here because all trade is land-based. Right, let's make sure that, that... Wait, 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 wait. Did I not set up uh, wine trade? I did not. That changes now. Get out of here, wine. Get out of here, timber. Get out of here, furniture, which I also need to set up trade for. Honestly, I could be maxing this trade out a whole lot more than I am, and perhaps I should. Get some olives thrown into the blender as well. Eh, two lots of olives, I do really want to max that out a fair bit. And then workshop for oil. One, two, three... I want to say this for military academy. So patrician goes away, and that's our four, and prefect goes here, and you can also take oil, because I'm quite confident that we'll be underproducing oil. Actually, we'll be slightly overproducing oil. Hmm. I'm sure Caesar's probably going to ask for oil eventually, so I'll just let it pile up. Uh, some of them. After all, I wouldn't want Caesar III without our Russian soldiers. Alright, military academies just slam you down. Not much point in having non-militarily trained units here. And I'm actually a little short on employees, believe it or not. Slam them down as usual. Alright, 
Dosh is rolling in. Another successful voyage. The dockers are taking our goods to the warehouse now. Taking your goods? I'm not importing Jack. Another sub. Okay, well, I'll take it. As soon as I have a reasonable bit of Dosh and my armies are looking okay, I'm gonna get started and I'm gonna bum rush patricians. Actually, where in the world do I get pottery from? Uh, I can buy clay from Pergamum or pottery from Ephesus or clay from Miletus. Hmm. That's going to make things a little awkward here. It's going to make things very awkward here, actually. Uh, for one, they need a place to very quickly put a lot of clay into. However, I say lot of clay. I don't really need a lot of clay if I'm just bum-rushing patricians. Doesn't change the fact that I do need a um, a place to store the stuff swiftly at that. It's probably going to go here, and I'm going to migrate some industries down here. Probably the uh, furniture industries are going to go down there. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Am I selling that lumber? I am. Not fast enough though, and we do have all trade things opened up. Still, the money comes in sweet. No sense beating around the bush then. Away you go. The warehouse here stores both pottery and clay. I'm going to tell my friends to import the clay. Do not import the pottery. That'd be very expensive. And we're going to. Ceres and Neptune, away you go. We're going to be replaced by furniture workshops. And we'll have pottery workshop one and two. And who was it? I hope it was Ceres and Neptune, because that's what we're getting. Bum rushing patricians, I bet Toga Boy would like that. Well, it's going to be more money for him. There we go. The initial music's gone away because we have evolved. And I need to start thinking about how I'm going to fit my fatricians around here. Sorry, John, I know I'm clearing out all the trees and I know you don't like that. I also don't like this very artificial looking edge that we have for the trees. Could be that the time comes when I tear them all down, but at least this is a large area for focusing on patricians. It's not going to be quite so nice though, because I need to make sure that there is space for fishing around here. Half dishes finest are ready, Pepper's Quakers are on their go. So I'm actually thinking I want those Legionnaires, although hmm, it's hard to know where to put them. It's a big investment to slam down a fort if you're going to be deleting it later. But truly, I don't know where I'm going to be attacked from. I'll actually I think I'll put them over there. Yeah, you need to refresh if it's saying Zen and jaded. For some reason, Twitch can't figure out live updating of the, uh, the game. A little short on people here, so let's up that. Although I said I would bum rush patricians, I knew it. Rome is already on the on my case, demanding goods out of me. But that shouldn't be difficult to set up, because I can just say stop all the marble, and then once it builds up, we'll get it sold. I can't wait to do some trading here. I love a good deal. So a slight limitation on long-range seaborne trading is that this guy is coming here, but he's actually waiting in queue for somebody else to go there. Not even them. I think he's waiting for this guy to go in first. Must be some kind of British trader. Loves to queue, even when there's no one in front of him. Yeah, there we go. So they're probably going to pick up the oil. Dockers are collecting some goods we're buying from a warehouse. And the battles are on their way already. Okay. So, so, so... more so. Da, 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 da. He's still thinking. He's got a few things to figure out here. I'm going to set this up to be one huge place for food production. 
but it's not going to be as heavy hitting as I want it to be. Right, first things first though, I need, uh, not wharfing, I need ship building. Just one is going to have to do for now. And regrettably, it's its own designated prefecture and engineer's post, but it will work. And I'm still a little short on population. Still going to need to make some horrible slum areas, but that's what I'm going to do around here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to set up the wharves first and build around them. Yeesh, these wharves are so far away from the food source that it's almost not even worth putting them over here. In fact, I'd say it isn't worth putting them over here. They're just a liability in a lot of ways. Even so, I want to squeeze every bit of food I can out of these, so... Wharf, wharf. I want to... I want to actually make something beautiful here. Even though I know it's going to be a slum town, I want to build beauty in this slum town. My own personal rebellion against San Francisco. Gotta hate that city. <laughs> Shout out to Alpha Gamma who has to go there shortly. Seeing up there and connecting up to all of these wharves. Now, I don't think it's going to be a big problem that the granary is so far away for these guys because their fish boat has to go all the way over here and all the way back, and that should give the granary guy enough time to run his way down here. Run his way and run his mouth. It will be a little faster if I give them this kind of zigzag road, though, given the way they move. Too zigzag, though, it needs to actually touch these. It's not too shabby. I mean, it certainly has problems, but who doesn't around here? This is going to be an inefficient fishery, I think. It could go so much faster. I'm going to cut out a bit of movement for it, like so. The, these fisheries have ages to go regardless, so I think what I would do is connect them up like so. It'll be a while before these guys run really the way I want them to, but until then, I'm sure they'll, I'm sure they'll work just fine. Now, the tricky part. Oh, well, I say tricky. It's time for the very unpleasant part. Fishing for mergers. If there's one thing I would like in Julius, it's the ability to see merger points. If I were smart enough, I'd be able to find them anyway. However, it's not going to be so relevant on this run as it is often in my others. Because I'm not going to be upgrading these plebs. They just live here and that's their lot in life. The best thing they're ever going to be is a large tent. Well, maybe there'll be excess uh, fish to give them. It just depends on how many patricians I can feed on this fat load of... What is, uh... What does Ilstrujan like to call it? Garum. Excessive amounts of garum. It even sounds nasty, doesn't it? Oh, that's a merger point right there, and a very good one at that. Uh, sadly jaded, YouTube is having horrific issues with my videos, and uh, the upload or the processing for them is going absurdly slowly. Are you gonna merge? Yeah, man, I have a sixth sense for mergers, I'm telling you. Right, lots and lots of prefectures needed because it's gonna be tent city here. In addition to prefectures, we also need revenge engineers. Connect up, connect up. Because, yeah, wharves, wharves can fall down as well. When you have tents, there's no correct answer for what's the right amount of prefects to have. You always want more. And I'm going to put down a doctor in case I forget doctoring later on. And then we go fire. I've actually got YouTube support on the line trying to figure out what's uh, what's causing those videos not to process to HD. To be fair, it's better than better support than I've seen from just about any other tech-related thing. 
this little appendix here is something of a problem. Hopefully prefects ever walk down there. Okay, okay well, you do not. This is a solvable problem, however. I'm going to want to sh uh, jam the school of uh, housing anyway, and I certainly want to be rid of these one by ones, so what I can do is this. When I build a slum city like this, I'm inspired by Bruegel's slummy Lugdunum. His Lugdunum had nothing but large tents and patricians, and I quite liked it. I swear I've done a slummy city like that before, though. Where did I do that? I think it was Sarmazegatuza. Right, see if I can get his marble. And I'm going to give 80 ducats to the city. And the rest of my ducats I'm going to turn into cheetahs and giraffes and send them over. I don't know where we're getting cheetahs and giraffes in uh, Greece, but we got them. And that's going to keep Caesar on... Well, it's going to keep me in Caesar's good boy books. Get back to trading our goods, importing the clay, and we're building up that pottery. Castles and each layer pretty. I know, Dirk Slam Chest. I will do my utmost to have some sort of uh, middle class in this map because even I feel bad when I do slum sitting. The gods are unhappy. Oh, I'm not surprised. How unhappy are they? <laughs> Outright angry. Sure you are, Ceres. Sure you are. Painful though it may be, I think my best course of action is just to increase the super slums over here. One, two, one, two. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And what is it that... Uh, Blobber says no explodey, I think, when putting down an engineer post. This is just my incredibly half-hearted way of appeasing the gods. We'll have a proper way later on. For now, though, I really just want to assemble all of the tent 2x2s two over here that I can. If all goes to plan, it's actually not going to look too shabby once I'm done slumming things up but it's probably going to look quite shabby. <laughs> all right, all in due time. Nice mergers going on, though. I do like that. Purge the non-mergers. Uh, although I said I'm going to be fishing for mergers, I'm not actually going to be fishing for them. They're going to happen or they're not going to happen. And uh, when it doesn't happen, we get to throw Nicky out of his house. I've been thrown out of my own. I've got nowhere to live. And yes, I did mod the game to call the homeless guy Nicky the Homeless. The lore goes in that direction. Maybe you painted a plebeian to look like a, gira a giraffe or a cheetah. Caesar isn't always the brightest. Uh, steady now. Last time Caesar caught wind of mockery of him, he sent me over to one of the hardest maps I've ever played. Surely you remember the map, um, Who's Your Toga Boy? I think that was the name of it. I could be wrong. Okay. Oh, Jesus. Okay, that's very bad. So, we are getting attacked from the worst possible location. However, it shouldn't be too difficult to get our military forces in play. They might tear down some industry. I hope they're not set to immediately attack. What I am going to do is I'm going to... Open up a bit of a route so that our units can get over there faster. Still, that tells me something important, that they do attack from here, so I'm going to set up a second legion for that. See, I knew they'd be coming at me early. If they just immediately start attacking, I'm in deep trouble. Tell you what, go and uh, give your life. Oh jeez, the, the the prefect went and aggroed them. Duh. Oh, that's bad. Damn it, prefect. Why would you do this to me? Wow. 
Well, that was horrible in a number of ways. Yeah, also Aftish's finest got torn apart by them. Right, well, how about that? Vine Farm, Pottery Workshop, the worst loss there was the Military Academy. Because that thing's very expensive. Shout out once again to the Logitech G502 for double-clicking all the goddamn time. I'm going to need to replace that mouse, or at least fix it at some point. Uh, so what are we looking at? Two Vine Farms for one. And Pottery, Oil, Oil, Oil. Pottery, one, two, three, four, oil. It was four oil, right? One, two, three, four. That was weapons, and of course we had pottery. Rough. Rough enough to build some wall here? Nah. I'll be migrating this whole setup later on, so occasional attacks from the locals aren't anything to be too afraid of. Buy replacement mouse, threatened it until it went. Oh, right, I see what you mean. I do have a backup mouse, but I don't want to use it. I don't like it. Are you wanting to merge for me? If not, you're going away. Looks like you're going away. That was a potential for 2 by 2 merging up there, but as I said, I'm not here to fish for mergers. If I get a merge, great. If I don't get a merge, it's, uh... I've been thrown out of my own! Someday that will get old, but today is not that day. Right, well, we're stacking up the fish now. I do have a fair bit of dosh, but not really the unemployment to start throwing down patricians. I have all the goods for patricians, though. Furniture, oil, pottery, even wine is locally made. If I set the exports to be a little higher, that could work out. I do want to migrate this down here. It would probably be a clever thing to do before we go for patricians, but I'm not going to do it like that. We will have patricians first. However, even though I have all this food here, I still want to prep myself up for more food. Mm, I don't know. Just how many patricians are we going to be having in here? The answer is pretty much all of them. No, the correct course of action is to have another load of tent slaves. And I don't even care if they're small tents, I do not go out of my way for big tents. One, two, one, two. What a horrible, horrible way to get people to move into my city. But effective. They come in here, they get engineering, they get double prefectured, because we don't triple prefectured, because I don't trust them. And that's going to give us the. Oh, bollocks. Didn't expect that. So I need to send away my army now, my army which just had to fight. It's only a small force. Small force usually means that a single batch of legionnaires will get the job done, so. I'm not convinced I clicked that correctly, yeah. 16 militarily trained legionnaires should be able to take care of a small force. So off you go. That leaves me a little undefended back home, but my barracks is working flat out. So let's just hope that works out well for me and that I don't desperately need towers. Now, how are my prefects going to be here? Also, for the time being, Exports over four for furniture. Exports over four for oil. Exports over four for vino. Right, chat. Um, the clever thing to do is to set up luxury palaces, but I always find there's a lacking of soul when it comes to luxury palaces. In this game, there are a whole bunch of decent patrician choices, and I was thinking I'd let you choose which one, but why don't we have a mix of them? Why don't we have at least one of every patrician type? Yeah, that seems like a viable goal to have for us. 
Although I'm not sure that's going to be enough to offset the patrician, the um, the prosperity goals, but that's a concern for future Jake. Let's get that food flowing. Got a bunch of foodies here in Rome after all, they love Garum. If I want another granary right here. No, I'll probably just make do with the longer travel times on some of these guys. It's going to be a little inefficient on some of the food. I know we're not making a fish joke there. I'm above that. So the fish all goes into here. We're going to have various other support roles. But we still need them to have labor access. So one way or another, this needs to come out and become one with the fatricians. up a uh, patrician block in my head here. I think that should actually work out all right. We could have uh, a wee villa here and a wee villa here, which will supply the um, the labor access for these folks. They'll be able to get all the food from there, some stuff happening around here, and then patricians galore over here. Centralize the governor palace, of course, and then we can wall it off appropriately. However, does anyone know Caesar 3 well enough to do prosperity calculations using large tents? Well, I do, but I don't want to sit down and do it right now. Right, never mind. The patricians will be here. No questions asked regarding that. We will want warehouses a little outside of reach for them. Even out here. Not unthinkable. In fact, if my industry is largely down here, a warehouse right here would actually be ideal. So this warehouse could actually get everything for them. They can get pottery, furniture, oil, and wine. Later on, I'm probably going to have a second one because one of them doing all of the goods is dangerous. There can be situations where the, the goods are mixed up in tiles so much that they actually can't get one certain type of good. Pretty rare, though. I don't buy it as a legitimate concern for a regular play, but for making an eternal city, you wouldn't want four on one uh, warehouse like that. Did those words make sense to you? They made sense to me, so at least I'm not, not talking completely out of my backside. Although I appreciate when I'm playing Caesar 3, I play this game a lot, right? A hell of a lot. I like to think I know what I'm talking about. Ooh, this would be a nice place for a gatehouse. I don't usually like having gatehouses on my maps, except for the very outer borders. What I used to do was place gatehouses quite a lot inside my city borders, because they stop random walkers from walking through. But it looks really bad. It looks bad to have a pleb area with just a gatehouse sticking in the middle of it, no supporting walls or towers or anything. So I will avoid doing that for now. Right, you at some point will be a villa, as will you. Your desirability is going to be trashed here over there. So you're going to enjoy having these lock you in for now. I don't have access to... Toga boy, get off my back. You want my army? You want my marble? You want my timber? You want my weapons? Yeesh, okay. Well, you're not getting my weapons, but you will get the timber. There is no need for you to fulfill every one of Toga Boy's ridiculous demands. Do not feel pressured to do so. I certainly don't. Another successful voyage. Small problem is that the marketplace is going to come over here and give these people food. So the best thing I can do is use low desirability to stop them from evolving. That's one of the best things I can think to do. The desirability for these villas is going to be terrible. Oh well. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. 
do you need? I did not consider the other food types for these people. I need to import those. And getting them over for them is going to be a hassle and a half. Of course, it could easily be imported here with its... Uh, tell me I can get two docks over here. One, two... Yeah, it needs to be put very... It's like huge on the um, throughput issues. So it needs to be right next to an accepting warehouse, which is right next to the accepting granary. That's a problem, but not an insurmountable problem. There'll be a granary here, which I reckon... Oh boy, the throughput for food there is going to be rough. Hmm. Hmm. going to have to be here. going to have to come down and grab it. Probably more scumbags around here, which is fine. Yeah, no two ways about it. That's how it's going to have to go. So, uh, sooner rather than later, I'm going to have to migrate all my industry down here. It feels very early to do that. A lot of what I'm doing here is actually very early. I shouldn't be... I think I'm jumping on patricians a little too early. Tell me this can be mined. This cannot be mined. It's actually pretty tricky to get my stone-related industry down here. No, no, thanks to these stones, it's actually surmountable. I can get two uh, timber yards over here, so I'm not going to spare the rod when it comes to these. It's actually not a bad place for it. All right, it's a little expensive, but we're going to deal with this and migrate it down here. So, two to... Ooh, I tell a lie. I told a... I told a fib. Because there was no tree there, I couldn't actually set up my timber yard there. Huh. Well, I guess you do get to go here then. Not what I was planning. Set up the docks first, even though this is going to impact my my dosh for a little bit. This is a decent place to fish, to export fish. But I don't want to have any fish happening here, otherwise export stuff is going to be a pain in the butt. They'll mix up fish for the granary with fish for export, and oh, the nightmare would never end. Now, as I said, it's very important that that food I import goes immediately into a warehouse and into a granary ASAP. So, let's sort out the road first, and then figure how they can get into a granary as quickly as possible. Mm, it's better the less distance they have to go. There is actually quite good, but I need multiple warehouses for sure. Yeah, I've got Military Academy, so I don't think that's going to be the biggest of my concerns. Right, I'll tell you what I'm going to do then. I'm going to get rid of this little bit of road, and we're going to have Warehouse Uno Duzo. Uh, second one might not, not actually be in the best place right there. What I could do is place it here, or even there. is that. So if, uh, if stuff gets unloaded here, they don't have to go very far at all to get to the warehouse and drop off the goods. They usually like to go as far as they can on the road to get to a warehouse, but this is okay. I only need three types of food. You do not need four. We already have fish, and we can import lots of wheat. The trouble is going to be vegetables and fruit. I might actually need both just to keep my um, patricians fed enough. However, no real escaping that, so one of them is going to take fruit and veg, the other one's going to take wheat, and then I want them to very quickly be able to deposit those into a granary. So I'll probably have both granaries right here. Uh, maybe even here? Actually, that works quite well, doesn't it? 
Uh, importing food is one of the hardest things to manage in a Caesar III city. Because it's something that's in very high quantity, both produced and consumed, and that makes it very awkward to work with. That awkwardness is going to be a pain for me on this map, but I will survive. What does I say? God's gift to city building? Let's see if I can put that to the test today. I try my luck here. I don't know if that's a merger point or not. I know this is. So that'll be the scrubby labor access for these people. One, two. Bring that out. And let's actually start focusing on industry around here. So I want another timber yard. And I want my marble quarries. One, two, three. And I want my iron mines. How many did I have over here? I think I had four, and that's still being chewed up. One, two, three, four. Any other raw materials that I'd like to have here? Yeah, there's the farming, of course. It means moving all of my production over here. Yes. It's getting messier before it gets any less messy, but don't worry about it. I know I'm not. One, two, one, two. One, two. Ooh, that actually lines up quite well. Mmm. That's one of those happy accidents. Scouring for a merge point. I don't know all of them by heart, so sadly I couldn't tell anything there. But, actually, the way this is laid out, I'm pretty confident that everybody will get the labor access they need. Ooh. Let's undo that. That was a merge point there, but I can't use it. You I can use, but... Not to anyone's particular benefit. Your emerge point, screw it. I'm just going to use you so I know that my labor access is taken care of. Prefecture 1, Prefecture 2, Engineer Post, we only need one, so we'll go there. And then once I've started building up some raw resources, I'll have this set up for them. They're going to need additional warehouses, of course. I'll put one here and one here. I'll probably even want another one. Let's just be ready for it, because I do like to diverge my uh, my storage solutions. <laughs> Work. Lived with a guy who worked in a place that specialized in storage solutions. How can you detect merge points, says the Karot. Merge points are so important in Caesar 3, so recognize them, uh, recognizing them is a great skill. Sadly, I don't have that great skill. I only know some of them. So, on you can tell a merge point because of the tile on the ground here. One tile is one square, like what we're what we're hovering here and here and here, or perhaps showing off with these. Like this is a square. Um, visually, you can tell a merge point because they have certain graphics on the tiles. This is a merge point. I can tell because of that layout of shrubbery. So is this. That little tuft there means it's a merge point. Uh, so is this. That's also a merge point. There are others, though, but I don't I don't recognize them all, and I don't have a good way of remembering them either. I just recognize some of them. What I would love to do is go into the game and just put a single little, like, purple pixel or something on every merger point so I at least know where they are. Even better if I had a button to toggle them so I don't have to uh, see all these purple pixels all the time, but a man can dream. Tent City, beautiful, plebs hope to see Triumphal Arch. Uh, did you catch the start of this, John? Because the problem is there's no good food production except for fish, and the fish is not going to be able to support a big city. So there's going to be a slum town, a very small burgeoning middle class, and lots of patricians. Bit of a problem all the uh, Greetings. immigrants are coming over place. here. Do you know anywhere to live? I want them over here so that I can get this operational. I did not a barren map then. Just something we fished off of the uh, the downloads in the Caesar forum. Looks to be a good one. All right, we got a fair whack of goods up here. I'm not stockpiling anything, am I? I'm stockpiling my uh, wood for Toga Boy. Not a concern though. He will get that, and then we'll have everything moved down here. This didn't merge, which is unfortunate. 
sometimes I drag the... Every map has two tile... Uh, every tile has two graphics to it. So sometimes I drag just to see if I can check the second graphic in case it's a merge point. Can't tell if any of these are. I think that is... Yeah, screw it, let's just... Let's, let's just not worry and be happy. These guys are going to become operational now, and soon that industry all migrates down. The army is still being worked on. Oh, it never feels like it fills up fast enough. Sometimes I really miss the multi-barracks cheat. A classic. Right, weapons. We need lots of them. One, two, three, four, five. I can still export a little bit of iron, but 6, 50, nah, we can go all the way up to 8 on the on the weapons. I won't bother exporting iron, it's usually, uh, usually a waste of time anyway. So the weapon's going to go here, god forbid we end up with iron, it can also go there. And I also need my furniture being processed here. One. Two, three. So you're going to take furniture and timber. And then you're going to take the marble and probably the oil. Probably. Enemies are on their way as usual. Again, I hope they don't attack here once more because my defenses here are lackluster. Once I tear down some of this, I'll probably put up a wall with a uh, gatehouse, but no turrets. I want my uh, barracks focusing 100% on making me proper units. Togo Boy can get his wood now. Togo Boy's just ambivalent. Jesus, no satisfying this guy. He's not getting those weapons, though. No way, no how. I need those weapons for myself, and as I said before, there is no need for you to bend over backwards to Caesar's demands for, uh, for such things. shouldn't have set up my docks here. Some of the ships are going there and just leaving empty-handed. Actually, I'm going to delete them so they don't do that. This map would not be possible in Augustus. The civil unrest from houses and healthy bus with no food would cause the city to explode. Well, I don't play Augustus and I don't like the Augustus changes, so no need to worry. I definitely set up this food too early. It's just costing me in terms of labour. Price rose on fish, which is tempting me to sell fish. Really tempting me to sell fish, but it's not a good setup for me at the moment. Right, more industry comes over here, telling me that I want more olive setup. Two olive farms and two vine farms would be pretty ideal here. But I'm not sure I have the space for all that industry. Also, I'm going to need to import um, wine eventually anyway. So I might make do with just one wine farm. And otherwise we need those oils. One, two, three, four on the oil. However you cut it, this is going to have to connect up to here. Hmm. The market ladies are going to have a long way to go to get their goods. I'll either need lots of market ladies or to bring the food and stuff a bit closer. Probably just stick with a more market ladies approach. But yeah, since this has to connect up anyway, I might as well get to work on it. There's going to be a bit of slum town surrounding the glorious patricians. No way around it. Oh god, mistakes were made. I set you to accepting fish. And I set you to accepting fish. Right, so you need to accept the fruit and veg. And you need to accept just the wheat. And we'll have those set to import later. Emperor demands my oil. Do I have oil to give him? No. Do I want to? Yeah, we'll give him the oil. That's not a huge deal at the moment. This Frostbunt count was modern, fairly modern. What was it, 2017? It's modern enough for me. 
God, here comes the masses of Gadam. Filling up these granaries. Well, it'll get chewed up soon enough. Also gonna need the Hippodrome somewhere around here. It could even go here. It's actually a good place for it. Not too shabby, actually. It does take up a bunch of space, but it's going to take up a bunch of space anyway. So yes, that's where the Hippodrome will go. My unemployment is, strangely enough, uh, nowhere near as high as I usually like it. I will need my slave slums later on. And by later on, I mean now. I always like having lots of... Um, lots of unemployment to draw from. One, two, one, two. He said he likes to build nice cities. How can he betray us like this? I know, I know. It's means to an end. Uh, my armies are practically full here. Gonna get another set of legionnaires ready. Togaboy can get his oil. Meaning I don't need to keep stockpiling it. Well, I've actually got loads of weapons. I could just give him these. Alright then, there you go, Togo boy. It's funny, I'm meant to be exporting them. Where are they going? They're probably being masked up in the other place right now. You should not accept clay anymore. And you're going to pile up with them. Um... You're going to pile up with the other goods. And the stuff's just about ready to be migrated down here. Well, I say just about. We might as well get it done. We will probably just purge this industry here. Except for the uh, some of the weapons. Because the weapons are still used for the barracks. So the oil is going. I think I'll dry up the raw materials first. Just so there's a bit of elegance to this. So once they've all got it uh, made and exported, then I'll cut away the docks and have everything done here as well, with some hopefully nice and full warehouses. I would also like to, despite the expense, begin the importing of fruits and vegetables and wheat. Mixing my fruit and veg in one granary could be a problem, but let's just cope with the situation. Odd how difficult it is to get the city builder format right it seems deceptively easy. If only they had our brilliant minds. I wonder what they were trying to do with Aquatico. It just didn't feel like they. There was just nothing to really do in that game. Or really no motivation to do anything. It just felt off. I can't put it in particularly better terms than that. Slight problem, and it's more than slight. The goods are actually being delivered here, so I'm actually going to turn you off of getting goods now. Because otherwise these people are just going to go all the way around with their finished goods rather than getting them sent off here. And I probably want another warehouse, whether I like it or not. At the very least you need to take wine. And now we can... well, can we? Might as well, let's get those docks going. Once these have all dried up, the wall gets erected, and then hopefully my people will be safe. And with the food about to be imported, we'll be able to properly set up patricians here. We have the money, we have the unemployment. Yeah, my city definitely looks like this. Large insulae, grand insulae, that looks like a small insulae right there. Man, these looked so good back in the day. I still think they have a charm to them. Togoboy wants my weapons, and the enemies are at the door. Two bunches of enemies are at the door. Huh, maybe I should... Maybe I should... Erect my wall post-haste. There we go. Sorry, immigrants, if you want in, you're going to have to take the proper entrance. If I get attacked from anywhere else, I don't feel like I really need a wall. The army should be able to handle it. That marble 
is actually piling up to a uh, disgraceful degree. We will stockpile weapons for Toga Boy. And now all of the trading should be happening through here. So I can get rid of all of this. Even the weapon. Ooh, right, no, I wanted the weapons here. Why did I get rid of all the iron mines? Probably because there were too many. Raw material, iron mine, one, two. Three, two will do. Keep the weapon workshops near enough. Funneling that, and that'll keep the army going. Toga Boy gets his weapons. The price of wheat goes up, which is very unfortunate because we need to import a lot of wheat. Da -da -da -da. There we go, keep that flowing. Uh, we don't really need more IKEA, so away that goes. The gods are probably less than impressed, certainly. They'll get what's coming soon enough. In fact, they can get it now. More god slums. There you go. Keep them off my back a little bit longer. Right, so sure enough, vegetables are getting imported. Food gets imported so agonizingly slowly in this game. Which is why I'm glad I'm only having to feed patricians with this good stuff. So this warehouse guy has to one by one cart them over to these granaries. Actually, I'm going to delete these granaries and rebuild them. Having them mixed with fish and the other goods is just going to be painful. So, you take the wheat, you take the fruit and veg, and we should be happy enough. Alright, we don't actually know what the main enemy is. The previous attack was just local barbarians, and these are... Oh, they're still coming from here. Well, good thing I built that wall. What are you? Macedonians, that makes sense. We are in Athens. What am I thinking here? I want another fort, of course, and it's going to be more legionnaires. I don't mind them being so far outside of the city, because once this is torn down, I should have a lot of space to anticipate any attacks coming in. I don't know how big an attack we're looking at here, but come on, they're Macedonians, so we'll have them torn to shreds. I'll fight to the death. This city's safe while I'm still alive. This soldier's too strong for It certainly is too strong, away he goes. Right, I would really like my legionnaires to be right here right now. They are very slow, those heavy infantries. Rome is happy for the weapons, just as I get attacked. Mm. Right, get into position like so. Then when they come through, they'll immediately have to deal with us. In fact, get out there in tortoise formation, and then have the javelineers behind. Get a better viewing from here, I suppose. There we go, Macedonians fight like babies compared to us, and there we are fighting the foreign invaders too. With this, Caesar's going to be very happy with us. Kill him. Gotta remember that there's another attack on its way to my city, isn't there? So get back to uh, get back to the forts, re-erect the wall, and then be ready for whatever's coming. It's always good to give them the order back to their forts because that lets them regain health and morale. Because uh, both those things go down in combat. And it reaches a bit of a tipping point where the health is so bad that they just keep getting crushed in battle. That gets really bad. Yeah, Baron is back to being a working man, so his uh, his time chosen for doing Xenonauts is probably not going to be a happy time for many of you. Hell, it's not going to be great for me, but I'll be around for as long as I can before I have to go to sleep myself. Right, time I started actually thinking about these patricians that I've been talking about for a long time. 
Watering patricians. It must be done, but from where and how? You need to be adjacent to water to bring it over. And I would like things to be somewhat contained here. I don't want things reaching in from the outside. And I want my wall here and here. That does mean that I could bring the water over from here and have a pleb zone. And it's the best idea I have right now, so that's what we'll do. Here. It's not a bad place for it, truthfully. I kind of like having the aqueduct in the middle of the block, and I did it before, so we'll do it again. This is hideous, um, and it can't connect up here, so instead we're going to connect you out from here. Can I do something like so? I prefer it coming straight out. Don't worry, we can beautify... Oh wait, that isn't straight out at all. What are we talking about? Straight as a Polish pretzel. And this is a problem. There's a tiny little bit of shrubbery in the way. And a couple of alpine trees, I think. Alpine? What kind of tree would you call that? A cypress tree, thank you. is not my forte. I'm not sure if any kind of knowledge is my forte. Maybe Caesar 3 knowledge. Kiryu is better than me at that, though. There we go. That'll do the water for now. And there's a very convenient fountain location right there to at least get these guys started up. And now comes the big questions of how we build this up. Why not bring the water from the lake, says Taciturn. Here, because I want my wall coming out around and down here some way, somehow. I don't want this lake to be part of my city. This, on the other hand, I could incorporate, but we'll figure out the borders later on. I'm actually going to be a little stressed for space for all of my patricians, I think. Two of them are very big, and there's a lot of different other kinds, but we'll see how. Right. Neptune has done us very well so far, so I'm going to erect a giant... Uh, uh, temple to Neptune. And since we're getting attacked a fair bit, we'll also have a modest temple to Mars. It's mostly just a boost uh, desirability around here, which is really suffering. I hope to take down these medium uh, statues later on. And now they come in with their many, many demands. I'm going to get Hippodrome operational immediately. It's going to bring a lot of entertainment and just generally get these people off my back for a while. Also going to need a Colosseum, no question about it. And actually, the positioning of this isn't too bad for the Colosseum here, but there's problems with it. The walkers of the Colosseum can be a real pain in the bum. I think... Ooh, I've got something of an idea. Right, the Colosseum can go all the way down here. I like having these big entertainment buildings together because it seem, it makes it seem like a bit of a, a hip place to be. Probably the wrong word, but whatever. Um, now that means that I could have my gladiator school over there. And the gladiator is going to come down and down and around and down this way. But I can put my lion tamer somewhere like here, and hopefully the Lion Tamer takes this route. Hopefully. There's no guarantee in one way or the other, but uh, well, there is guaranteeing if you measure it properly. I'm hoping it comes down and around, and that should give access to all these people for all the Colosseum needs. In addition, I'll put down a theatre, and that will be almost all of our um, almost all of our entertainment needs seem to I don't want it to be with the other ones, right? Theatre seems like a more uh, thoughtful place. There we go. Lion Tamer's going down this way, so it's excellent for me to put patricians around here and along here, and I can put services here. Excellente. Right, as is often the case, they need some schooling. So the school can go here, but that won't be enough. I'm going to put a school here, actually, in the hopes that that will cover everything. 
And for whatever it doesn't cover, here's a library. And whatever that itself also doesn't cover, here's an academy. That's right, academy right next to the lion tamer. I'm gonna need a lot more markets, I can already feel it. Now these people will need access to a barber and a doctor. They might not be able to make those loops, but I'm putting these down just being hopeful. Hospital will be required, it's not a very desirable thing to be near. And the hospital guy's walking range is never that great. I'm just going to slam it over here so he can take care of all the chariot related injuries. And then there's not many more things that we do need. We need the trade goods, of course. And we need access to plenty of markets. I'm probably just going to flank this with markets, actually. There's a lot of marketeering to be done, so we'll just take care of it like so. Of course, you'd have a lot of marketplaces around where all of the uh, the shows are going on, so I don't feel bad about that. And my people are really chuffed with me. Nice. I try not to skip through those things because they feel good to see. Uh, okay. Well, we're not done with the attacks. There's an attack on its way and a local uprising. Fortunate thing about local uprisings, they are pretty weak. But this might be a two at a time attack, which reminds me I haven't saved at all. What's this map called again? P something. Um, I know it's Athene in some way, but... I don't have one called Athens already. I know it begins with a P, but I forgot the name. This will have to do. Piraeus. What a baby load of barren soldiers. Okay, looks like we get our additional units in in time. Oh, just in time. There we go, not too shabby. Now, of course they need a bathhouse, but also it's a very undesirable place to be. So, I'll put the baths right... Like, one, two, three, four... One, two, three, four. One, two. Uh, one, two, three. One, two, three. I'm wondering if I could put this one just a little bit further in. And then I could have my luxury palace and large palace right here. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. Space for big things here. I always like to have the Senate around here. It just feels correct. Having it next to the uh, en uh, education buildings actually seems very correct. This might also be a not too shabby idea. have things my way to have my own personal villa here as well but it won't be affected by uh, maintenance which is not good I need maintenance by which I mean uh, engineer posts and prefectures speaking of which I'm sure the engineer is making his rounds but I feel more confident about another engineer post around here he's got amazing range so there's no real problem putting him far on the outside like so Getting these guys desirable enough will be tough. Fortunately, I have my favorite crutch in the world, Plaza. So once these people get access to their bathhouse, which I hope they will someday, although I do realize that I... Oh! Not the world's worst place then to attack. I'm somewhat ready for that. So all of you just turn right back and deal with this problem for me. having my soldiers actually fully powered. Oh, nice, yeah, right when the other guys uh, get back. So go and bait them out with some javelins. Draw them right into our own forces and mulch them. Let's 
uh, this level seems very light on the military challenge. I was expecting more. Then again, one of the comments was saying, oh, maybe other players would prefer a more military approach. So what do I know? Right, so here and here, I would like to have my grandest of patricians. It's going to be hard to get desirability high enough there, especially given the lack of... Um, there's a word. The lack of oracles. Oracles would be really good for that, but of course we don't have them. But we have plaza. How can one go wrong with plaza? Yeah, these people hate being next to wharves. Wharves are incredibly undesirable neighbors. more goods to be coming in. So we have the wine, which I'm hopefully not exporting all of right now. Export's over four, but I think that's because some of it's tied up over here. Uh, I'll tell you what, this stuff's going to go away. And this stuff... Hmm, could be a bit of a problem in a way. Screw it, we're just going to get rid of it because it's messing up with our other, uh, other goods. Except the weapons and you... You do have a use, actually. You're going to be getting pottery for me for now. This pottery is going to last us a long time in Patricianville. This guy hates where he lives. There you go. Have all the plaza in the world. It'd be great if I had a slightly larger statue to shove here. But alas, I do not, unless I want to have a lot of medium statues. Actually, that works pretty well. There we go, that should give them a fair boost in desirability. The range of a medium statue is four. And now they're waiting to get some oil. Oil and multiple food types will keep these guys sitting pretty. I'm just sorely in need of wheat. The wheat's coming in so slowly and these docks are having a hard time processing it. A very hard time processing it. Yikes. So that these, um, these markets are going to have a hard time with food. I know that. The hard part is unloading food from your uh, warehouses fast enough. I'm thinking... No. Oh, it's just because food gets uh, imported so incredibly slowly. It's starting to make me think this might not have been the best place for setting up our uh, docks. Somewhere like here would be monstrously better. Would it? No, it's still only two docks. Mm, one, two... Actually, yeah, you could th fit three docks here. Hell, four even. But this is very far away from anything I've got planned, so we'll just have to make do with the limitations that we have right now quite hilarious to me that the warehouse for oil is completely backed up. My oil exports are actually lower than I thought. I'm creating too much oil. So I'm going to get rid of some of that. Do I only have three oil workshops? No, i got four. I just can't see one of them. Ah, there it is. Even so, away they go. I'm making too much oil, which is jamming up the warehouse. We need to export it so there's space for my marbles, which there's currently not. Oil is the reason you'll purge Italy first thing. We're not in Italy, though. Tarentum only wants our olives, though, not our oil. Okay, good to hear that the armies are looking great. Barracks is getting all the soldiers it needs to fill up the Uras. These guys are taking forever getting that oil. Oh, market ladies, get what you need. The problem with the market ladies is they keep wanting to go and get more of this food. They love to stack up on wheat first. Now, in time, that will solve itself because the consumption of wheat isn't that high, all things considered. But they, they work their way up. If they have access to wheat, they want to get the wheat. Then the veggies, if there's access to that. Then the fruit, then the 
meat, then the other goods. So having all of the different goods available slows down the market lady's acquisition. However, if I have a lot of marketplaces with those goods buffered, eventually it'll create a pretty good system. It's just getting to that stage where these slow imports is painful. But we'll make do with it, especially since I'm only feeding two households anyway. I just want them to get their oil on the double, friends. So, Grand Villa, Luxury luxury Palace, Large Palace, Small Villa, Medium Villa, Large, Grand Villa, Small Palace, Medium Palace, and that should actually give me some space left over. The trouble is, I don't think this is going to be enough patricians to uh, handle the prosperity requirement. If anybody has a calculator handy, I have some addition that I would love for you to help out with. I'll give you five seconds to set up a calculator before you can help me out here. Right. What is 1,750 plus 1,500 plus 900 plus 700 plus 600 plus 400 plus 180 plus 150. What does that come to? Six thousand one hundred and eighty. Thank you. Now, six thousand one hundred and eighty divided by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, divide that by eight. Togobo wants my meat. I'm not really sure I want to give him my meat. He's already very happy with me. But I suppose it couldn't hurt, could it? If he's keen on my meat frequently, it might not be a bad idea to set up a warehouse for it. There you go. 1172.5, that's actually not that great. Really not that great. <laughs> okay, well. We can always build more patricians elsewhere if the need arises. So very quickly I got that Garum for Caesar. Oh dear. <laughs> not an unexpected place for fire to break out. I'm not gonna cry over it. I know why it broke out there as well. Right. These guys are taking forever on that oil. I know we have the oil. Tell me I'm not still stockpiling, right? That's the problem right there. I've been stockpiling my oil all along. That's why it's not being, being sold. I make that mistake all too often. And that's why the market ladies have not been getting it. My previous talk about them focusing on other goods was a waste of time. water these guys. For now I'm just going to shove that there and there. I would like my own personal home though. Just add that little personal touch to the whole place. One, two, three, four. Oh well this is a good place for a uh, villa of sorts. spamming loads of large statues, but getting the desirability up for these kinds of guys is going to be tough. I haven't saved never the biggest fan of it, and yet I keep doing it. Hmm, how curious. This is a good place for some... Oh, this actually worked out perfectly. We've got the small villa and the medium villa. And as long as I don't touch anything fancy here, they should just be there. Hey Jake, long time not watching Twitch. What have you been playing this last year? That's why I've not been playing. 
Got a lot of different long plays on the channel. One wants my wood. Rome is not giving me so much Ikea money anymore. What's it being? Avorion, Open TTD. I think that uh, Kamidori 2 game was this year, if I remember well. And Caesar 3, of course. I don't know, it's all on the YouTube at least. Another small force telling me that probably just sending out a bunch of, or sending the usual bunch of my pandas out should take care of that, so get on it, panda. And I'm going to ignore Caesar's want for timber. He doesn't really need it. A little worried that the school kids don't make it this far. Wow, those kids have pathetic range. The school kids are just a pain in the bum in this game. One, two, three, one, two, three. Yeah. Well, I can migrate them over there. It's not going to be a desirable place for anybody anyway. And then hopefully they come along here to at least... The, oh man, look. Ah, the kids are just infuriating me by their lack of range. This is actually something I believe that was changed in Augustus. They increased the range of school kids. But again, I like dealing with these horrible frustrations. I almost enjoy the anger. I'm going to shove some emergency labor down here in case it's ever needed. And an emergency prefect so they don't burn. Nah, prefects can make their way down there just fine. Right, where are these kids going? The wrong way again. Of course they do. Good school kids. There you go. Do that then. That motorsport manager was a, uh, a great hit. Hey, there we go. That's what we need. Now evolve. And then evolve more as you get more market lady access. Well, that is surprising. The gods actually don't make it this far for you. However, I was planning on fixing exactly that. Uh, even though she doesn't feed us, let's praise Seri. Oh, wait, what? where's my marble? I'm selling every drop of my marble, that's my problem. Keep six units on... Mm, keep ten units on hand, please. It'll actually take a wee while for us to buffer that marble, but... Oh, no, it's there already. Right, large temple to Seri's, please. That'll bring up the desirability around here, as well as giving them another god access. Why don't you put down roadblocks? No roadblocks in the original game, and I don't like using um, gatehouses as roadblocks. I like to use gatehouses on the perimeter of my city. Using it internally, I think, is too ugly. Well, it's too ugly for me, at least. Right, the Ceres could kindly walk over there and teach our people about God. We'll give another large temple to Venus, because I rather like the large Venus temple. As soon as we have that extra cartload of marble, there it is. And it's looking not too shabby for these people. Right, now remember, I want these two to be my... Uh, palaces. It's going to be pretty difficult getting you up there because you don't really like how undesirable this all is. But... We do have this triumphal arch we could use. There is a direction at which the triumphal arch fails to work, and I forget which direction it is. It's of vital importance that I don't mess this up as well. Which direction is it, though? Um, whenever I need to remember this, I load up Whisper Winds Syracuse. Uh, Sarmazegatuza, rather. Because he used them here. And as we can see, people do walk through them normally when they're arranged in that way. Which is bad for me. Because that means the other way won't work. What a shame. Aqueducts are not desirable or undesirable, but the reservoir is. Right, that's a problem. I wanted my triumphal arch right here, but instead I guess I could put it here. It wouldn't have enough range to help these people at all, though. Hmm. One, two, three, one, two, three. Yeah, Christ, that's actually not great. Hmm. would be quite nice to have it right next to the House of Government, though. Yeah, there you go. 
just going to have that. Now that gives us space for a one, two, three. And then I can slam whatever I wanted around here. Large statue is a nice go-to. I don't actually know what's better between large statue, uh, large statues and large temples. But whatever, Mercury can be here. That'll boost desirability a fair chunk. And now, they won't evolve further until I start importing wine, and thankfully we have the dosh for it, so let's get importing. And then spring, spring, spring some more. Beautiful. Now, one of these I want to be grand, and the other I want to be just large. And I think we've got it. I think we've got it. Remember, I only want one of them to be grand, not both. Uh, luxury, rather. Oh, right, right. Actually, it's fine as it is. The only reason you're not evolving is because you don't have access to an amphitheater. Which can easily be solved by putting it pretty much anywhere. How about right next to you? Although here is not a bad idea either. No, I'll put it over here. And then just like that, this should become a luxury palace. Although the amphitheater worker immediately went in the wrong direction. Citizen, is this not the dullest city in the Empire? I don't think my people like my city. Okay, there's no sense stopping on this right now. I've got a bunch of villas to make. In fact, I can get two of them right here, which is quite nice. Gonna have you like so. Access. So that could be like large and grand villa, but I also need small and medium palace over here, both of which can happily go right here. And we can actually erect the wall on this side with defenses, because I'll have access to labor. Right, that actually works out rather well. I like it when things work out rather well. It's better when things don't work out at all. Oof. That should suffice. I'm just going to slam you down like so, and you down like so. They should merge together no problem as they evolve. Yeah, there we go. Luxury palace get. We'll keep that one nice and large. Not the worst block I've ever made. The lack of bathhouse is a touch concerning, but I do have space for additional... Pylons, so I'm gonna stuck you. Oh, there's no water access there, is there? Just barely, but there is not. However, there is water access here. Besides, these fussy patricians deserve the best in life. Caesar's not getting my wood, no matter how hard he begs, and he's begging hard. I feel like I don't get quite enough IKEA made. The problem there. Am I exporting too much? Yeah, exports over four feels uncomfortable. I want exports over eight for anything I need for my patricians, including oil. And truthfully, I'm not going to bother importing clay anymore. I'm just going to import my pottery straight up. And the pottery, regrettably, actually needs a designated warehouse. Otherwise, it's going to clutter up other places. Hang on, what do you do? Iron and weapons, also acceptable. Right, even to the point where I'm going to migrate my military down here. Military academy get. And then this can almost entirely be destroyed. I want you to actually get those weapons so that this doesn't sit and do nothing for us for a while. And that's probably enemies approaching. Yeah, of course. Come on, my patricians. Grow up into uh, big and proper patricians. This bathhouse lady just doesn't seem to want to do the loops for me. Oh, you can't get a good night out. 
out in this place. You ever played Sim Golf? I don't think I've ever played Sim Golf, Kino. I'm pretty sure somebody has told me to play it, though. I feel like it's Ninja. Leo and I fight all day, all night. And still, people are bored. There simply aren't enough entertainers here. Can't believe people complain about lack of entertainment when we've got a Coliseum and a Hippodrome. I know where they're moaning, though. It's just most people don't get access to it, just the glorious patricians. As expected. Desirability is an issue, but if I'm given Crutch Plaza, I shall use Crutch Plaza. It's just a great way to tweak the desirability of an area exactly how you want it. I don't want to upgrade the desirability here too much, though, because then this guy will become a luxury palace, and I want one of each kind of patricians in this block. desirability here, because it might start degrading. Yeah, you're going to degrade. However, that can easily be solved. Can it really be easily solved? Of course it can. Yeah, there you go. That should keep you fine. However, I actually want both of you to be better than you are, so I'm going to add a bit more... Uh, right. If you are the... One I want to be a small palace, the other I want to be a medium palace. Which one gets to be which? I wonder if I could erect another large temple here, like a large one to Mars would go a long way. What was that? Oh, the Emperor wants my marble. Uh, it's not a big deal with him getting that marble, especially if I get another bit of marble right now. It's coming. There you go. There you go, Toga Boy. He's already really happy. There's no need for me to give him this. So I won't. Alright, you became small. You became also small. But if I can have you as medium. If I could only have you as medium. There we go. Right. These are my last ones to worry about. And of course it's horrifically undesirable here. It's kind of cool that the entire focus of this is a patrician block. Normally that's not how these things go. Also, I cannot believe the bathhouse is not making her way around here. She's just having a, having a laugh now. Not a good kind of laugh. Right, that should be enough for you to become a large villa. Doing what I can, game. There's a limit to my powers. Ah, the academy doesn't get this far. Also solvable, at least. We do need the uh, culture requirement anyway, so there's no big deal in doing this. That bathhouse access is becoming a real pain, though. How do I get the bath over here? Hmm. I could make just yet another bathhouse. Why not? I will try to make the other bathhouse look better than the other one. That'll be difficult with all the wharves, though. Too far, too far. There we go. Yeah, isometric 2D ages so much better than early 3D, Kino. It's unreal. Alright, that's good. If you just stop evolving, please. Stop. Good, 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 good. Now, if this one becomes a large villa, we'll have all the patricians in one block. Luxury palace, large palace, medium palace, small palace, grand villa, large villa, Medium villa, small villa. And it won't be enough to win this map, I'm quite certain of that. Ah. Especially since I'm going to need how many small tents? Uh, medium, uh, large tents rather. Ooh, what's the population of all these guys anyway? Anyone got that calculator handy? I could really do with this again. What is. 200 
plus 190, plus 112, plus 106, plus 100, plus 90, plus 42, plus 40. What is that? Eight hundred and eighty, that seems awfully low. Worryingly low. I can't believe this bath lady's still not making her way around here. It's just ain't right. Eight hundred and eighty, huh? So I will need nine thousand one hundred and twenty people in tents. What's nine thousand one hundred and twenty divided by twenty? It's quite a lot, isn't it? That's not going to reach there. Nothing will. Yes, yeah, so I need 456 large tents. I don't think I'm going to meet this prosperity requirement. <laughs> uh, not with this. Um, not with this patrician block alone. Although I can set up another patrician block. It's not the world's. Uh, not the world's worst outcome. Anyway, what was that? What were those alerts? The emperor requesting marble. Enemies at the door. But I have an army. Although some of my army has been sent away. And this will soon be demolished, or I hope it will. Especially if I get rid of all of these, their surplus to requirement. There we go, finally. Unfortunately, you've become a Meacham Palace, which is too good. So I'm going to purposefully drag down desirability. Purposefully drag down the desirability. I did want to get rid of this, but I don't want you to fall down. Come on, come on, down, 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 down. You're too pretty. And get rid of both of these in the hopes that you guys start uh, devolving. Some of you devolving a little too far. Jeez, it's really too desirable over there. One thought is to keep you like that, actually. Make you a little bit more desirable because I've just got kind of bungled you now, haven't I? I've done something bad here. Right, that looks okay. Right, this is a lot easier to work with, actually. Now, if I can just get you back up to Mejim Villa. Okay, it's good. Now it's just a case of turning you into a large villa. If I eliminate that, that should bring you down. Good. It needs to be a little bit less desirable, though. Unless I want to make you a little less desirable, which might be a lot easier. Easy does it. It's just a very, very careful balancing act. It's still not undesirable enough. I'm going to start tearing away your gardens if you don't comply. There we go. Stay. Perfect. So... Luxury Palace, Large Palace, Medium Palace, Small Palace, Grand Villa, Large Villa, Medium Villa, Small Villa, Dunzo. Now I just need to make sure that every single one of them is paying taxes. I realize that there is no tax rate in my city, so let's make it a modest 8% and pay people more than Rome. And make sure that these people are absolutely paying their taxes by erecting another forum somewhere. Forums are desirable neighbors, so I don't want it uh, too close to any of these guys. But tax collection is a must, so I'll put that down here. Yeah, I've checked out Augustus Norpelkael, but I prefer the vanilla experience of Julius. I don't like the gameplay changes brought in by Augustus. And I love me some vanilla Caesar 3 experience. 
Okay, so, although this is wonderful, don't get me wrong, it's very wonderful, we have a large amount of population. Actually, there is no population requirement. I can decide that myself. So, since we have to go for 80 prosperity... Ah, oh, jeez, here we go. Um... Um, um, um... What's the best way to consider this? I want a prosperity of 80 with this set up here. So how many large tents do I need? A large tent has prosperity of 10. I, I don't know what the best way to calculate this mentally would be. I think the best way is to think how many uh, large tents each of these buildings can support whilst getting 80 prosperity. Which basically means you need to siphon off 70 for every large tent. Ah, screw it, I can't, I can't mentally do this. Could probably do it non-mentally though. I should just focus on making a nice, uh, a nice city. There's not even a need to expand out here. These slum lords can do their own thing. Right, what I do want, though, is a nice wall set up. here, although the gatehouse is already there, so maybe I will just keep this walled up. Towers are undesirable neighbours, hopefully. Not to the point where it's going to get in the way of this. Uh, get in the way of my nicely made evolutions, I mean. Are you going to suddenly devolve? That's what I thought. Know your place. Go to the other staples and excel it up. Yeah, that I that I could do, but I don't want to break the flow here. I might actually bring the wall out like so. I'm just not sure how I want my city to be looking. Especially since you're out here, but I do kind of want the slum lording done out and around here. So what I could do is have this go into the wall here, uh, go into the rock wall here. I just want things to be relatively cosy despite the slumming. So that way this can be a natural defense, our own little mini Carpathians. And then if we have the aqueduct kind of hug along here. Your slum loading area. I quite like it a bit when the aqueducts hug the city limits a bit. And then the wall's gonna have to come to a, an end here. So our vast slums can actually go here and here, and this could be a, another defense for them. I mean, not that anything is reasonably going to get past here. It can't, anyway. There's all this forest in the way. In a way, making this feel redundant, so I'll just get rid of it. And then just pack this with disgusting slums. Once I've drawn a proper border. Okay. And I want a, I want a proper gatehouse running through here as well, now, don't I? I? Wanted my city, this is the way in, although I positioned you incorrectly. Gatehouse like so.
One of the problems of building your patricians early, however. Is that the earlier you build them, the more chance there is to mess them up when you build other elements of your city. Because building stuff over here can screw with walker patterns, but it's a pretty tight loop. There's redundancy in it as well, so I don't think that's going to be the world's biggest issue. Still could be, though. Now... I don't think you could have two adjacent um, aqueducts that run under... Um, oh, I wonder if I could do it like this, then. Oh, I've never even thought about doing it like this. Something like so. It would be nicer if they weren't there, but we'll deal with that in due time. Especially since that gives me a nice place to triumphal arch my way into my own city. Hey, hey, I like that. Maybe pass the aqueduct right under that. Well, I can't undo that, even though I kind of wanted it one bit down, but still. I was hoping that would give the desirability boost to... Uh, ah, there we go. Uh, everybody loves it when they got the paved, uh, paved ground there like that. Now, there needs to be a wall, or rather a road running across the wall, so it gets access for towers. At this point, I'm in full... Uh, make a nice city mode more than anything else. And it's going to be slum town o'clock real soon. What's my best way of doing that though? I think... much as this is going to disgust a lot of people... I'm going to preserve the forest as much as I can. We're going to invite people en masse. They're going to... Um, they're going to make their beloved mergers. Ooh, ooh, shouldn't put you there. I just cut off access here. And then this is going to be where the slums are. Well, part of where the slums are. <laughs> There's going to be plenty more slumming. Of that, I'm sure. And then once we have the mergers, I'm going to sort them out in a bit more of an eloquent manner. That's right, we're going full San Francisco here. God, I hate San Francisco. <laughs> Enjoy your conference, Alpha. I imagine those patricians are looking out their back windows in sheer horror. That's right, I am driving down the, uh, the market value here, and there's nothing they can do to stop me. Let's have a look at desirability. <laughs> it's nice over here. That is just no citizen's desire to live here. Of course they don't. getting on my case because I'm not sending him the, every single thing he's after, but I'm just going to ignore him. He's throwing a hissy fit. Sometimes Caesar needs to be put in his place, and this is one of those times. I wonder if I could cut down my wood production, because I think I could get rid of you. Get rid of a little bit of my IKEA processing. There's one, two... Wait, do I only have three? I do only have three. Well, I can cut that down to two quite easily. Alternatively, I don't have to do that. If this is a merger point, then I could... Or if either of these are merger points, then I could do it over here instead. I'm going to try my luck at that. Because this is clearly not working for us. Put my 
furniture right there instead, and a bit more right there. All right, they're attacking our slums. Can't have that, those are our slums. You might have noticed that my army has no cavalry in it. Roman cavalry is garbage, so we don't use it. The only good thing about it is that it's fast. It is the fastest, but uh, they're so weak it's not even worth considering. People often also ask me why my army is Russian. I'll let you ponder that one at home. Easy every time, these Macedonians are pathetic. Of course, all they did was Ura. There's a lot of other great voice lines. Very good. Rome's always on my case now. He wants my fruit? Uh-oh, what's happened here? So, uh, as I was talking about changing the stuff here, can change out the movement patterns of your walkers, and in this case... One of the entertainment walkers is not making their loops here properly. Usually the amphitheater, this time it's not. Surely it's not the Colosseum. Is it seriously the... Uh, oh god, it could be. It could very easily be. The Hippodrome. Hippodrome is doing all sorts of weird things, right? That being the case, I'm actually going to get rid of that so we don't have weird walkers walking down here. The Hippodrome will redo its uh, pattern and everything will be okay. Or so I hope. There we go, back he goes. I've never been past so many unemployed citizens before. Yeah, that's what slums do, man. Not a lot of mergers here, which is a bit disheartening, but the kind of weird nature of them is going to make it look a bit more authentic. We're still not having one by ones though. One by ones are a curse. A curse I won't be living with. Plus this purge gives us room for uh, others. We can build up some uh, actual... Uh, still could be some mergers happening here. I've been thrown out of my own! I know, Nikki, I know. Any of you want to merge? Yes, yeah, sweet. <laughs> I'm laughing at the thought of these patricians looking out of their windows. This is not a glorious sight for them. Come on, charioteer, I need you to make your way past the Grand Villa again. If you don't do that, I'm going to have a bit of a tough time with you. Good. He's good if he turns left here. He does not. Mm. He's got the longest range out of any uh, non-forced walker. That was not unexpected, because I didn't put down enough prefecturing. But it could spread, so fire break. A little busy right now. These fires spread if you don't catch them fast enough. I'm on it. Uh, okay, I think my. Oh, here we go now. Certainly needs more prefecturing. The charioteer, though, he is keen on making me very unhappy right now. Even after setting up everything the way I have. I have an idea for that. And the idea involves getting rid of this academy and putting down a chariot maker here. This could backfire in a number of ways. I'm just hoping the chariot here comes south instead of east. Once he gets access to labor, that is. Damn it, he's not going the way I want him to. Hmm. Well, not to worry, there are other ways around this. For example, I can put the academy back. And I can migrate my wall a bit. Because I can put the chariot maker here, and then it will definitely work the way I want it to.
Huzzah. I'll do some better road works for the slum town real soon. I just want everything to settle a bit. Being those was so rewarding back in the day. I remember your screen would pause and you'd hear the CD driver revving up to play these man. What, a, what an awful old man story that is. No one's interested in hearing that. Just reminds me of stories my dad would tell me and I'm sitting there thinking, I don't care. Who would ever care about this nonsense? And that's just what I've become. Right. Yeah, once they settle into these places, we'll... Oh, this is pretty bad. I wonder if you can evolve into each other. Knocking down my academy there has caused this nasty occasion where they've lost access to academy. So a lot of things are falling apart right now. But they will unfall apart soon. And he wants my armies again, and he still wants all my goods again. Caesar's really just sucking me dry of resources. Greetings, I'm new to this place. Do you know anywhere to live? I hope I don't lose my job. Unemployment is so high here, I wouldn't get another. Come on, make the rounds. <laughs> he just won't stop asking for marble. Yeah, when Caesar starts getting this uppity, I just don't want to give him what he's asking for, so I won't. Academy needs to get back to making its rounds real soon now, or else we've got a problem here. Do you guys want to merge? Well, what, uh, it might be water rather than anything else that's the issue here. I do need to weld these guys up regardless though. They did, they did want to merge, excellent. And there we go, our evolutions are coming back. Hopefully they evolve back to where I want them to. That's good. That is not good enough. And some gardens. That is also not good enough. But, uh, you're waiting on the hospital. Well, the hospital should definitely have been able to make its rounds over there, but I think he will. Come on, hospice, I need you up here right now. Phew! That tower is actually having an actual uh, consequence here, but a small bit of gardening fixes it like it fixes everything. Are we back in the right zone? No, because of you. Or is it you? I forget which one I kept grand. But it's of little consequence, because I can just add these two and get you evolved. And we're back to where we should be, which is a good point to save, for sure. Now, I'm going to sort out my slum town bring everybody up to small um, or rather large tent and then I'll be relatively satisfied with this city provided we actually hit the prosperity requirement but I might just fast forward to that as I said at the start I don't tend to like maps that have very large population requirements and this one is meant to have a population requirement of 10,000 but I clearly broke when the map maker finished up their map well, not broke, they just uh, didn't put it in correctly. So I'm going to take advantage of that and act like it doesn't exist. Now, with this setup, I'm going to do what exactly? I want a slightly more organic looking road, but there's not a lot of great space for such a thing. Actually, really, if I just have loads of prefects making the rounds and ensure that everybody is watered and desirable enough, we should be on the win zone. And yeah, these people don't deserve proper water fountains. Wells will suffice. Dirty, nasty, stagnant well water. 
for the well-dwelling people. You're actually out of range for some well water, but you're in great luck. I can maneuver this fountain. Uh, you're not in great luck. I cannot maneuver this fountain. It's a little out of range, meaning I have no way to give you water access from here. Unless I didn't have this road. But why not just not have you? Yes, yes, I defy you, Caesar. And Prefecture burns down because there was no engineer post. The no explodey, as someone likes to call it. I missed the start of a Caesar portion of this. What's the mission? Uh, the mission is that we are in Athens, and I honestly can't remember much beyond that. I'm building a slum town that purely feeds a completely uh, diversified set of patricians. That's what I've decided to do with the city. That's really all there is to it. Goody goody. I do want these guys to get uh, small tented as well. You're going to be a hard one because you hate where you live, but a little bit of gardens goes a long way. A lot of gardens goes a long way. A lot of gardens and some plaza. Wow, there we go. That was a hard sell. Now, there are a lot more of them over here, but they also deserve some love. They've not been burning down at all this run, which I've been quite pleased with. There's no ongoing labour requirement for wells, so you really can spam wells to your heart's content. And they're also, I think, the single cheapest thing to build, aside from a single bit of road. So, great value. Best value. I'm just gonna slam these down. There's no, like I said, there's no real need to think them through particularly hard, because they are just that cheap. You're a problem, though. I can't access you with water. However, I do overproduce the fish, so what I could actually do is get rid of one of these wharves just to make you a big, strong, large tent. Uh-oh. Now, this is a problem. I don't want these people evolving. Unless I do want a burgeoning, uh, proper pleb class over here. Which would make a bit of sense, wouldn't it? Yeah. We can have the slum town out here and have some actual people living here. No, 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 there's a problem with that. The problem is the market ladies will want this wheat. I wish I could draw the distance here, but, um... I can do it in terms of fives, couldn't I? So, this is the wheat, and this is the wheat, so that's all bad. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. Ooh. I may or may not love coming here. 10, 15. So there's this interesting calculation for market ladies. They will go and get all the goods that they can get as long as it is within 40 units as the crow flies. So if I give it a marketplace, say, out here, they'd only go for the fish and not this wheat. But it's all about road connection, so that's one way that you often stop these kinds of things. Right. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Alright, here to be safe. If I put marketplaces here, they won't get the wheat, I think. Let's test this theory. It's a game theory. 
If they do get the wheat, I have a big problem, so let's just see where they go. If they want wheat, it's the first thing they'll get. With unemployment as high as it is, I'm working hard to keep my job. It bothers me that some of these people are eating the wheat. But they're getting the market ladies from over here, I believe. Alright, they're going for fish and not wheat. That's a great start. So believe it or not, we can have a middle class here. Chat, what kind of housing would you like the middle class to have? We have shacks, hovels, casa, and insulae. Small, medium, large. Actually, just small and large, except for the uh, insulae. Insulae. Always insulae, says Pandy, but Quipple says large casas. I hate large casas. A lot. Hmm... Alright, we'll go large casa since I hate them. Hating them means I don't build them often, so it's good to good to constantly challenge yourself, I think. What would EA say? They'd say challenge everything. Is that still one of their taglines? Reasonable place for a um, for a reservoir right here. Not the plan, but it's becoming the plan. Out of my way. There we go. You also get out of my way. And also, there we go. So all those wells I just put down, oh, they got to go already. Because they're going to need proper water. Fountains override wells, but those wells will still get in my way if I leave them be. And now I have to consider fountains. These people are easy to fountain. You are not. In fact, you're very not easy to fountain. I'll figure you out later. Fountain range is fantastic. Wow, I actually need more uh, reservoiring than I thought. However, there's a reasonable space for it right here, especially if I get rid of this junk. I don't want this junk here at all anyway. Why are you here? I'm sure I had a thought behind it, but that thought is mute. You're a perfect, well, perfect enough place for this. Reservoir a go-go. sound is, and I'm not sure I want to know. That gets a ton of them, but I need one over here anyway. So I said I'll put you there. You'll go here. You'll go there. And that should be all of them watered. Then they're going to need the usual suspects. Including religion. My good man Mars will keep their religious needs met. And Academy will keep their... Culture, uh, their and education needs met. A single theatre is all you need for castle level. And a... I don't need a doctor, thankfully. Because I don't want to give them... Oh, right, my health must be awful. It's average. Hmm. Funnily enough, these people do get health access. But that's quite good. But it might be too good. Probably because of you. Get away. The health access here is minimal. As I said, they also need a bathhouse. Does a bath lady come up here already? No. That actually goes a long way. At least this is going to put some actual demands on my food consumption or production, because currently it's been running too easily for too long. And interestingly enough, I don't need either of these plebs here, so I'm going to eradicate them. These houses will get built, uh, labor access from down here. Caesar's just going ham on me. Would you calm down? He wants everything I make. I'll give you some of this marble. Just get off my... Oh, right. I'll give you some of this marble. Get off my back. Same with the fruit. Just go away, man.
do. You, you have water access, you just hate where you live. Hey, for once this actually looks like my city. Hey, you can even see the Hippodrome next to the Colosseum by the Luxury Palace. Crikey. They took inspiration off of me here. I've never been past so many unemployed citizens before. Ignore the slums. I do. Right, we'll have a Venus Temple just to keep these people the bare minimum of happy. And there's our large casa. So it gets talked about, and I'm sure some people wouldn't understand it, but I'll explain it anyway. We hate large casa because large casa consumes pottery which is an expensive thing to consume, especially if you import it, but offers you almost nothing in return as opposed to a small casa. It gets a minimal increase in the amount of people it can hold. So it's that uh, plus eight people in a two by two, that's plus two per building. But it doesn't elevate prosperity much. They don't pay any extra taxes. They just suck up your uh, pottery and you gotta like it or lump it. And I lump it. These people really hate where they live. Plaza always feels too good for crappy plebes, so just have a load of gardens. It's still not going right. Well, not much I can do for it. Have a bit of plaza. Rome acknowledges my receipts. What's the level of bad you want to have people drop dead as soon as they retire, but not before? Uh, you mean level of health? Average or good tends to work out well, in my opinion. This small insula is too good. However, we have a way to deal with that. Wells are undesirable neighbours. So if I give you a couple of wells... Maybe we'll warn a couple of wells. Uh, I'm pretty sure wells are undesirable neighbours. What are you playing at here, buddy? That was unexpected. Of all the places for engineers not to get to, I did not expect it to be those markets. Oh well, this market's about to fall down too. Away they go, which is a shame because I'm losing all of these goods when I tear down a market. That is uh, a few dozen cartloads. But there are lots of other superfluous markets, so it's no big deal. It's just very strange that that fell down. Have an engineer post right there. Right, these hideous large. Um, large castles are doing us just fine. The bathhouse lady refuses to work the way I want her to. And rather than fight against her, I'm just going to purge these places that... Uh... Chile. She doesn't go to a lot of places, as usual. Bath lady is pretty high on the list of infuriated walkers that never go where you want them to. But here, have a bathhouse walker right there. And this is actually too many markets, so I'm going to tear one of them down. Just making sure that they're not getting anything stupid like uh, wheat. And make sure that our people are taxed. You, though. I need to do something about you. Where you live is not undesirable enough. It should be very undesirable. Tell you what, prefects are undesirable neighbors. Have a couple of those. There we go. Know your place, scum. Well, I hate this. Thanks, whoever chose Large Casa. The entertainment is pretty grim here. The theater worker doesn't make their way over. But that's okay, I can easily add extra theatres, that's no big deal. Heck, I could have built an actor colony up here, which would be an even better deal. Can't help but notice I don't have a single actor colony in my uh, colony. And you just hate where you live because it's horrifically undesirable. I don't want to build anything too nice here because these guys are prone to evolving, so instead I'll just plaza you up. 
surprisingly, you don't have a good education either. Also easily solved if I can navigate a school in here. And these are inefficient anyway. I will purge you. I shall build a school. Hopefully the school kids have the stamina to run down there. Yet again, we beat up more barbarians. Uh, Rome has increased the price of importing that vital pottery that I need, though. Need it even more so thanks to these guys existing. It's not unthinkable that we could actually hit the prosperity goals here, but now I need to start doing something painful. And that's tearing down all my horrible slums. Well, I say horrible, it's probably for the better. Uh, let's just delete them and hope nobody notices these were ever here. Should be fine doing this. I don't want to tear down any of these trees unnecessarily. Watch my unemployment drop like a stone, though. Whoa! Dropped a little too much. But the army of Nickies are on their march. I've been thrown at my own. I... I've got nowhere to live. Does it ever get old? Truly? get rid of some of these things over here. The gods might start hating me because I'm pulling down a lot of their um, their temples and I don't have a lot of places to stick them. Whoa, wow, that battered my um, my census. I shouldn't have actually gotten rid of those two, should I? I'm going to keep those for a little bit. Oh, let on. Making this into an eternal city would actually be quite difficult, given the lack of slums that I have. Thinking about it, I should have had more slum. And the school kids get nowhere near as far as we need them to, so I'll give you an academy instead. And by the way, the Baron, are you still looking to start in about an hour? Because honestly, there's not much left of this city to be doing. I have noticed that the uh, Grateful Dead spreadsheet wasn't updated last I checked, though. Right, we're getting there, we're getting there. You still don't have what you need, though. Did a librarian not make his way down here? Like many people, he's just existing to disappoint me. Oh, there we go. Plenty far enough. And when you get your pottery, you'll be plenty happy. I've never you, seen. You, on the other hand, is too desirable here, so you need to lose access to your glorious plazas. Good. Needs to be knocked down a little more, though. Perfect. Now for you. Just little touches here and there. And you can make the city just the way you want it. That's on my pre-stream to-do list. Just finishing up work now, says Baron. Boss makes the dollar, you make the dime. So you watch Caesar 3 on company time. You know, aside from this slum, which is actually necessary for my uh, colony right now, I'm really happy with how this looks. No oracles is a bit of a problem for keeping those accursed gods happy, though. But my money isn't too shabby. I could actually transfer... Oh, well, I'll lose the triumph that's coming in. I think I made my city walls a little too close to... No, no, we can, we can do some things about this. I can move my gods over here. One, two, three, four, five. And then I can tear down the gods. One, two, three, four, five. And then I can do away with you all together now. Again, I don't want to tear down any uh, trees that I don't have to, so I'm being a little bit generous with that. Now, Mars and Venus could both stand to lose a temple. 
Just trying to thin it out so we have nothing but what's in here, and then I'll have a very satisfying looking city for myself. Slum included. Tell you what, if nothing else to help out my prosperity, I'm gonna get rid of the one by ones. But I'm about to face a severe labor shortage. It might look great, 17% unemployment. However, that's actually a ticking time bomb. There we go. Yet more Nickies. The long conga line of Nickies having to leave my city. Get out of here. So here's the problem. Once these 40, uh, 30 to 40 year olds get beyond the age of 50, they'll stop working. But I have nobody under the age of... Uh, twen between 20 and 50 is when people work. Outside of that, they do not. I have no fresh bloods here ready to enter the labour force as they leave. So we've got about 15 years of drought in terms of labour force once these people leave. A big problem, usually solved by immigrants, but I'm not in a position for bringing in more immigrants unless I slum up. And I don't want to slum up. Deleting all of this would probably be enough to crush my, um, crush my city in that regard. I've been thrown out of my own. I really like this block. Visually, it's not that tantalizing, but just the idea of having one of each kind of patrician in a single block. And not only a block, but a block that is connected to all of the rest of the city feels good. Something you tend to do in patrician, uh, patrician, in Caesar 3, when you build a patrician block, is you either isolate it from the rest of your city, or at the very least, you put up a gatehouse between it and the rest of the city so that the walkers are more under control. But here, just through sheer distance away from the granaries, we keep the plebs away from the good food. Yeah, you're the only one that gets access to grain, I think. No fear. I like this a lot. Uh, Donuts, the only farming we can do here is for olives and vines, so farming for food locally was never an option. We have to import food, apart from fish. Truthfully, this is surplus to requirements now as well. I just want this to be our, uh, our city, dare we even call it that. Never got attacked from here, which does surprise me. And I thought that might have been the attack that changes that, but it was not. There we go, these guys are actually very easy to fight. The problem with them is that they're so fast. If these guys um, have an immediate target to go for, they will diamond up densely and just charge their way through your city, and they're horrible to deal with. I've said it many times before, and I may as well say it again. Caesar 3 is not a fighting game. It's not about commanding armies. Defense is there to put economical pressure on you to charge forward with actually investing into an army to protect your city. And, of course, have some swell-looking walls and towers and position your city accordingly. It is not a game about microing your armies around to defeat overwhelming odds. Some people make their maps like that and play it that way, but me, I do not. Well, I don't like to, at least. The Emperor continues to be throwing a hissy fit over me not sending him these goods. So I'll send him a golden chariot to cheer him up a little bit. Otherwise, there's no way... I'm well, I've got a lot of wine, but wine is expensive, so I'm not going to give it to him. Okay, I just tore down the wall against the Macedonians, and here come the Macedonians. Nothing to fear, though. Macedonians are quite slow. So I'm confident we have the time to get up there. I think there's a hotkey to choose your different military guys. Is it one? Is it number keys? Then I have no idea what... Oh, oh dear! There's a few of them this time. Pull back a bit, lads. Okay, wow, this map took a turn. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm feeling that economical pressure. Uh, oh god, the rest of my legions have yet to arrive. Fake them out a bit. Pull back. Pull back. You folks. 
get over here as soon as you can. Face diamonding with diamonding. Don't mind tents. We don't care about tents at all. Uh, there are two more attacks on the way as well. Dang, that was that was painful, <laughs> especially from a poor tense. I'm gonna leave those there as a reminder. For who and of what, we don't exactly know, but I'm gonna leave them there. Fortunately, we have a good weapons industry. Unfortunately, the weapons work uh, weapons warehouse is a bit far from the barracks. It takes a while for the weapons to get over there. Clever governor would have rearranged this. Clearly I'm not that clever governor. I... The one thing I like about large casts is they look nice. This does look good. Kind of reminds me of a lot of um, British housing actually. Just kind of pitiable level of crap looking. But I think it's the, the red tiling. Maybe a bit like Dundee, actually. Yeah, I still defy you, Caesar. Or at least I try to. Right, this is going to be a problem if I get attacked twice at once. Could be the leveling of my city at this rate. Tell you what, though. If nothing else, couldn't hurt to have some emergency towering. That isn't going to work because there isn't road access here, is there? But there could be. This could actually ruin some. Wait, there was always a small tent there? Get out of here. Mm, maybe I want that small tent, actually. Alright, stay there for now. I definitely broke that, but okay. is going to send out a few units here to man the ballista. I worry about that road. I don't like it. It's going to ruin some of my walker patterns. Alright, well, nothing for it. Come and have a go. Throw a few uh, errant javelins at them. Send out the, the prefect. Never have let the enemy through. There we go, that was quite a modest attack. Unfortunately, some of my walkers did come here and they had the un ungratefulness to give these plebs food. I did not agree to feeding these people. Right. See that small hill over there, son? That's the corpse of tents and slums slaughtered by invaders. That's our reminder not to be poor. They didn't even bother cleaning up the rubble after the invaders were defeated. Pretty much. I'd love to tear this down, but our whole city is about to face a lot of problems with their uh, demographics. But that's okay. The stream will be over before that's a problem, I'm sure. And there are ways to solve that. You could just set up temporary labor slums and wait for the problems with um, uh, demographics to pass and then slowly phase out the slums. At a glance, I'm not entirely sure the city is big enough to handle that. I should have made a larger slum within the city walls, but I didn't.
and I quite like the idea of keeping things nice and dense. It's pretty much one screen. Actually, if I maximize my screen size, I appreciate you can't see it. Yeah, I can fit pretty much the whole city on one screen. I like that. Might be a little bit of a challenge sorting out the uh, labor force. But that's a future Jake problem. I like to come into these and uh, sort out in my eternal cities. I do plan on doing a video. Maybe not even a stream, but a proper video on Eternal Cities and Caesar 3. Just because it's a topic that interests me. I'll be wanting water and security in it. Yeah, exactly. Feeding people is one of the uh, first major hurdles of bringing up your uh, city housing. Which is why large tents are such a crutch. I remember them so much. I saw so much of these when I played Caesar 3 as a kid. Because I just could not wrap my head around proper food production. I didn't have the numbers, I didn't understand the whole intersection problem with walkers. I used to do cities that were just a huge long line like this, and then looping back around, I mean, easily four times this length, and I would just drag people along like that, and I'd have offshoots, like this would shoot off, and I'd have my farms over here and my food. It took me a long time to get good at this game. Of course, I didn't have the internet then, so I couldn't go into Caesar 3 Haven for some advice on how to build better cities or manage these things better. I think we're going to cheese off the gods a bit. Ceres, Neptune, Mercury, Mars, Venus. We'll try and purge those and see if that, uh, see if we can still play nicely with them. I mean, there, there are some people here waiting to enter the labor force, but it's going to be 15 years until they get there. In 15 years, all of these people are going to be retired. So it's not good. <laughs> One thing that's quite nice is we get to see the societal breakdown of where people live. Uh, these are the small tent people outside. Those are the large tents that we have in the slum. Tiny amount of tents that became shacks. Those will devolve back to large tents soon. And this is the burgeoning middle class. The glorious large casa dwellers, the gloriously taxed, I hope. Yeah. Those are pathetic taxes. It's June and each of them have paid me 15 denarii. Unlike the glorious hundreds of denarii out of these patricians. Caesar just won't get off my back. Have another stupid mask or something. Stay happy. Right. They're largely looking okay. I'm tempted to migrate the barracks over here just to fill up the, um, the towers here. If the attacks get real big... Um... Oh, okay, they decided to send uh, s uh, two attacks at the same time. That can be rather risky. I'm gonna split my defenses. These guys will hesitate, and then that will give me time to move these guys over to assist. They are hesitating. But that's not a lot. Even though these are just Macedonians, this is not a huge army to beat them back with. And the blue pant pajama warriors. Not even pajamas, they're going topless. Alright, hold folks. Jesus, a fair chunk of them. You finish them off. You go and help out. <laughs> oh, jeez, well, I was just saying the military seems a little mild. Now Caesar's demanding my army off of me. Well, took on the gatehouse. However, they just revealed two very, very angry prefects. After a hard day's work, all I wanted to see a good play or fight. Not much chance of that in this city. Sunshine, you are watching the city under siege. No good plays or fights, my foot. All right, another small force. Go 
gonna let my legionnaires replenish a little bit before that. I'm gonna rebuild my gatehouse. approach to my city is a fancy looking road. Not that we have land traders to concern ourselves with, uh, with for this, but even so, we can usually do it with alternated uh, gardens like so. And by nice looking, I mean I like them paved. Certain buildings in Caesar 3 have a better look to them if the desirability on their tile is to a certain level. Markets have it, bathhouses have it. I used to think forums have it, but I have since been proven wrong on that. Hey, there we go. A nice paved approach to the city. It's a little different here because these towers and things are undesirable, but nothing a little bit of Meacham statuing wouldn't help out with, I'm sure. You know, I like to think I'm fairly good at Pharaoh, but I've never played above easy mode, says the great Olaf. My building style is pretty inflexible. I found a general block style that works. I often can't find myself to deviate far from it. That's why I love custom maps on Caesar 3. You're often pressed in such a way that you can't just rely on old, reliable blocks. This city is so dull. Even a there's a, there's a block that disgusts me, and I see it everywhere in the cities. How does it go again? It's a fountain in the middle, surrounded by gardens, surrounded by houses. And then there's um, things on the outside for it, like school, library, market. And some people just do this again and again. It's like, oh, well, I need another one of my squares. So they just copy and paste this everywhere. It's hideous to me, but you know, they can build their cities however they want. Very hideous to me, though. Ugh. Baron screeching at the 9x9. Nine nine. Yeah. I don't, I don't see what people see in it either, but... Oh well, each to their own. I love being able to, or not just being able, I love being pressed to make these kinds of custom blocks like this. This is not something you could copy and paste whatsoever. There are copy and paste patrician designs, in fact I know a bunch of them, I've made a bunch of them. But they just don't hold a torch to just making this up on the fly, it feels so good. Although I appreciate getting that joy out of Caesar 3 requires an immense investment of understanding the game. But, but the PC magazine of my childhood tells me those are the best, but they're horrifically inefficient, by the way. The only thing that makes them somewhat best is how easy they are. Right, Baron, you're going to be sent off to deal with this small force. Nice thing about the constant attacks in distant places is that Toga Boy gets very happy with you when you fight them back. I need to get a grasp of what determines when 2x2 two two will become one block, as opposed to the horrible one by ones Ugh, it's archaic. It's, uh, it's not worth losing sleep over, honestly. Actually, truth be told, I think I'm done with this city. I've done everything I've set out to do with it, and although I could turn it into an eternal city at this point, I don't really want to on stream. I've done an eternal st uh, city on stream once before, and it's actually not very exciting. So I prefer to do that in my own time. Although we don't have the high prosperity, I'm pretty sure it's building up towards that despite all of our uh, tents because we have so many patricians here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to save that one up and I will actually remember the name of it this time. The city is called Piraeus with an I. P-I-R-A-E. Well, I'll just put it in chat so I can read it as I type it out. Piraeus. I will take some time to make this eternal later on, but I like the idea that we keep it small. And I like the fact that Illustre John will probably also like that, although I don't think he's a large casa enjoyer, and he's certainly not a slum enjoyer. Still, anyway, that's going to be it for my part of the streaming today. Baron Von Owen will probably be ready in about 40 minutes or so. 
So I'll bring the stream back up and raid into him when he's good to go, and I'll be on co-commentary for that. So until we're back in a very short amount of time, because we time to actually get some dinner, it's a cheers and cheerio.